Okay, so in the last tutorial we looked at adding a dog, so now what we're going to do is looking at some animation we can do with the dog. So, nice and simple, we can simply add a frame, make it wag its tail, up and down. Make sure you return to close to the original position so that when you've got the loop in um, and you play it, it wags its tail like that. Now, it's quite possible that you won't be seeing that because I'm fairly sure I've got it set for two frames per second on this, so I'll try to turn it down so you hopefully see the animation taking place. Okay. Then what we want to do is we want to animate and we want to make the dog move and the dog bark. So it's as simple as add a frame, move the dog, move the dog's legs. Right. Just like that. Add a frame, move the dog, Move the dog's legs. Add a frame. It's not be the world's best walking example, but it'll do the job. Add a frame. So now we play it, the dog appears to, to walk across the stage. Now what we want to do is we want to make the dog sit up. So we've got to the end, so to make the dog sit up, we simply add a frame, we're going to pull the dog up, then we're going to make the dog do a quick loop, and we're going to cheat. With a, with a quick loop, what we're going to do is we're just simply going to flip it, add a frame, flip it, add a frame. So now what happens is the dog wags its tail, walks across, and appears to do a little sort of flip in the middle. It's not perfect, it's more just for effect. So again, we're on the last frame. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add another frame. I'm going to make the dog go down. I'm then going to make the dog bark. Now to make the dog bark, we're going to hold down the control key while we grab the node with the mouse button. So to do that, we simply hold down control, grab the node, add the frame, grab the node, add the frame, grab the node, add the frame, Grab the node, add a frame, grab the node, add a frame. Don't forget to put it back to where it was before. So now what happens is the dog spins and barks. Okay? Very simple little technique. We then might want to make the man do something. So at that point we might be that we're gonna reach down or back away, but we're gonna go for a comic effects and we're gonna make it make the man sort of spin off into the distance. So to do that we're gonna make use of the alt key. So the dog's finished barking and we're gonna hold down the alt key and we're gonna grab a node and we're simply gonna add a frame sp oh, did it again hold down the alt key Grab, add a frame, hold down the alt key, grab, add a frame, hold down the alt key, grab, add a frame, hold down the alt key. You'll notice that at the same token, as well as rotate, it also allows us to scale so the person is getting smaller as we add the frame. So, now what happens is, the dog barks, and the man appears to spin and fall away into the distance as you get smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's the basic controls for today. The control key allows us to change the size of a node. Okay. And the alt key allows us to rotate the figure around the pivot point, but also to change the size of the figure around the power point.